Christy Doran from The Raw out of Brisbane. Well, you've written a big article about this, mate. What have you said? Oh, look, I just think once again we're seeing the incompetence of the New Zealand rugby board. This is a schmozzle, and it has been for, let's be honest, four years. We, we knew that the, the criteria around the initial selection following Steve Hansen's uh, marvellous tenure, really, um, that, that was a bit of a basket case, and it was a, probably a job for the boys and the, and the informed coach of New Zealand and probably the informed domestic coach in the world was, you know, brutally snubbed. And ever since then, New Zealand's felt like they've had the wrong coach who's been coaching the All Blacks. You were about to parachute him in last year during the rugby championship. We know that the victory in South Africa managed to keep his job alive. And now, once again, less than six months out from a World Cup, a new coach is going to be coming in. You know, yesterday should have been a grand occasion for Scott Roberts, and now it's going to be tainted for the next six to nine months about is the wrong person still there with Ian Foster. You know, as soon as they lose a game, the knives are going to start to come out. Doubt's going to start to creep in. And Razor Robinson shouldn't have that because he's been marvellous at the Crusaders, six Super Rugby titles. Uh, but I just think that this it's its a terrible decision from New Zealand rugby to have delayed it as long as possible. Another four or five weeks down the road since, since Scotty Robinson was pretty sheepish there at a Crusaders media session, pretty happy with how the process was playing out. But... You know, for someone like Ian Foster, not even to be completely aware that that announcement was coming yesterday, that Scott Robertson was going to be there, the fact that he was asleep and that the New Zealand board didn't even have the um, the courage to be able to call him in the middle of the night to let him know, that's just, oh, it's, it's another poor decision by the New Zealand rugby board off the back of their super rugby incompetence from a few years ago. And indeed, the private equity stuff up, which was about a year's worth of embarrassment. Yeah, I mean, timing-wise, it, it couldn't really be worse, could it? And I started off the show today, Christy, by saying exactly the same thing. You know, we've got a World Cup to win. Put yourself in any position. It doesn't matter where you work, what employment you've got. You know that your boss doesn't have your back. You know that behind your back, there's another guy waiting to have your job. And as you say, you know that everyone's waiting to stab you in the back.